Hi friends, I'm John Thornton with the Pain Care Clinic where we teach people how to cure any chronic illness. Glad you could join us. This episode is about the mind-gut connection and how stress can cause all sorts of digestive problems and also what you can do to stop it. So first let's talk about how all gut problems get started. How exactly does stress cause things like IBS and ulcers? And to be clear, stress doesn't cause problems, but chronic stress does. So let's talk about how stress and anxiety and tension affect the digestive process. The autonomic nervous system immediately prepares the body to either fight or flee in the face of imminent danger, like being attacked by either an animal or an enemy. The system's response is supposed to be short in duration and only activate because of real physical threats. It's a great evolutionary adaptation for survival. However, for the most part, it's not necessary in the modern world. We don't have that many physical threats anymore. But unfortunately, now fight or flight is now being activated continuously by emotional threats like text messages and politics and even the perfectionistic personality type. So the problem is twofold. Now negative emotions, not physical danger, are activating the fight or flight response, and the response has now become continuous, never ending. And that's not good. So how does this cause digestive problems? Well, the fight or flight response leads to a shutdown of the digestive process. All oxygen-rich blood in the gut is redirected away from the digestive tract and towards the extremities, the arms and legs, in order to prepare the body to either fight or flee. In other words, there's no need to be eating or digesting if you're being chased by a grizzly bear. It makes perfect sense. So the ANS cranks up the body for danger and then reverts back to what's called the parasympathetic state or calm state when the threat is over. But the problem, of course, is that continuous stress leads to a continuous disruption of the digestive process. So when I first decided to do a video on this topic, I wondered whether it was even necessary. I mean, doesn't everybody already know that stress and anxiety cause stomach problems? Well, apparently not, not the doctors. Traditional medicine doesn't seem to acknowledge any relationship between stress and digestive disorders. I looked up IBS on the renowned Mayo Clinic's website, and here's the causes they listed for the disease. Muscle contraction, nervous system disorders, inflammation, infection, and changes in the microbiota. And not a word about stress anywhere. So what about Crohn's disease or colitis? Not much there either. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation's website had only this to say about causes. Unfortunately, the causes of Crohn's and colitis are not yet well understood. What a cop-out. They never mention stress anywhere. Well, how about ulcers? What do medical practitioners think about the cause of ulcers? Here's what WebMD lists as the causes. Genetics, immune system dysfunction, a germ or virus, antibiotics, or some type of food. Again, nowhere is stress mentioned as a cause for ulcers. And when I checked out gastro reflux disease, chronic diarrhea, chronic constipation, there's no mention anywhere of stress being the cause. Emotions are never considered in the practice of gastroenterology. Apparently, the practicing experts haven't figured out what you and I already know, or at least we've always suspected. The research scientists, however, have an entirely different view of digestive issues and their causes, or should I say cause. They all unanimously agree the cause of gut dysfunction is usually stress. There's a great book by one of the preeminent gastroenterologists in the world, Emerin Mayer. The book's called The Mind-Gut Connection, and in it, Dr. Mayer shows overwhelming evidence that all common digestive issues are a function of stress. We know it's true here at the Pain Care Clinic because we've seen people drop medical treatment, switch their belief, reduce their stress, and then get better very quickly. It's actually pretty obvious, and we've seen IBS get resolved all the time by merely addressing stress.
So you're stuck relying on doctors who won't acknowledge the real problem, stress. And if the diagnosis is wrong, the treatment's wrong, and it won't work. Oh, and your condition is not partially caused by stress either. Don't fall for that. It's all stress. If you've given your doctors ample opportunity to solve the problem and the symptoms have not improved, remember, you're not obligated to continue. Consider switching to the mind-body alternative for curing your gut. It's a totally different path, but highly recommended by many of the world's top gut research scientists. It's actually the only way to become permanently symptom-free. And check out our free guide to curing any mind-gut condition at paincureclinic.us. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button for more videos coming all the time. And if there's ever a question as to which direction to go, either medical or mind-body, and you're not quite sure, just trust your gut. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.